So what's up guys, you're 321 here, welcome you to Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. So I'm currently adjusting my mic settings, but right now we have gotten the, sum the last summon gem, which is Mushu. And we get um, a weapon for Donald. I, w I didn't schedule a ahead, and I didn't write the script for this episode, but yeah, for now on, every time I do post commentary, there's going to be a script. But um, yeah. If you guys are still enjoying this series, why not check a, why not just put put a like there? And um, if you guys missed last um video that I've uploaded, you can check it out on the I, the um I the I icon on the top right. But on the Kingdom Hearts, I've came here so I can gather my gifts from the puppers and show off Mushu. He's a pretty simple um he's a pretty simple um summon gem. He's basically just what Mushu was in um, Kingdom Hearts 2, if anybody played that. My order of this game is mixed up because I played Kingdom Hearts 2, which was my first Kingdom Hearts game, so. Yeah. Basically, you just use Mushu and his fire breath and just spam the crap out of enemies. And he does a lot of damage. And I think his damage actually increases the more magic damage you have. So, check that out as well. But it's a pretty simple gem, it's pretty easy. But for this, this is basically my collection video where I go around the rest of Traverse Town. Um, I, go rest, I go through like most of the worlds in this game and collect all the items that are currently not in my possession. And the stupid enemies. Messing up my pretty stone. <laughs> and they're back! <laughs> You found it. All right, I'll go fix up your ship. There's not going to be much voice acting in this because this is basically just first take on this. I'm doing this first take, so if I mess up, then you have to bear with me because I have so many videos I need to edit of this game. Literally, as soon as I'm done editing this video, I'm going to start editing part of the next episode, which was recorded about like in January, so I'm like way behind. But thanks to that new j that new um gummy piece that um Sid added to us, we now have an instant gate from Traverse Town all the way to Hollow Bastion. But we're not going to do that for this episode because, like I said earlier, this is a completion episode where I go through the worlds that I have not completed and get everything that's worthwhile for me. Well, that I consider is worthwhile, like getting all the Trinity spots, collecting all the chests. Except for one that I missed somewhere, I don't know where. I'm probably not going to go back for it because I already beat the game and I don't feel like going to find going to find that one chest that might not be useful. But at least I have all the keyblades after after this gameplay, and we get Lady Luck, which is kind of that is kind of good. But um, yeah, next training spot is in the middle of the Olympus Coliseum, and um. After this animation, I'm going to show you guys a training spot that I forgot to show on camera. So, as soon as I get this chest, you can see from that angle. Right in between those two fire pots, you can find yourself a green training spot and get yourself... I forgot. I think it's like a potion or something. The green ones were... I forget what the green ones were. Oh, well. <laughs> but, um, yeah. The, um... We are not done with the Olympus Coliseum yet, though, because we have to go back and do all the other, um, um, what is it, tournaments. But we got the white tranny spot for the Lost Jungle. I miss this world. I miss Tarzan. That's what I miss from this, from Kingdom Hearts, Tarzan. How they remove worlds and stuff. But let's do that piece. And now we're back to this crap. I have shown the entirety of all of the slide missions in this game because after you collect 10 fruit for every section you get yourself a special item I think I've already shown off what this item was in like, like earlier episodes but if not it would have showed up right there so I already showed it off but yeah every time you fully complete every time we get all 10 fruits from every section you get like a new area unlocked so you can slide down into so now we have 10 additional, additional fruit to collect, and this one is actually slightly harder because this one actually took me a couple of tries to perfect. 
so I took all my juice. But um, yeah, it took me so, it took me some time to master all this stuff, and, w and it was a real big pain to like memorize all the pathing and stuff because around this area, you start getting pushed around by invisible walls and stuff. And I'm glad that Tarzan broke that open because I almost forgot this fruit right here. And we get we continue on to a new section that I haven't seen yet. I'm hoping. Because I'm just looking at the record time and seeing like what's left. Okay, this is a new area. So you just go around, slide around the tree, get your 10 fruit, finish the area, come back in, and then go to the secret pathway. It's actually pretty, pretty easy. Except for the fifth part, which also took me a couple of tries to do. We got Dark Matter, a synthesis item for we, ne we need to use for the ultimate weapon, which I'm also going to show off for this playthrough. The way I'm going to be editing these videos from now on is going to be like a lot more shorter videos or something like that, or more compact and stuff. So I can get through a lot of things faster. And now we move on to the upper pathway. Like seriously, look at all these invisible walls that are pushing me around and stuff. Like you saw like how I almost missed that one fruit to the side, right? And look, it is painful once you fail this mission because you get sent all the way to the waterfall area and then you have to walk all the way back up to the treehouse, then down to the little um slide and stuff. It is the same thing for this, which was actually painful because I cut some parts of this out because I only showed myself failing once, but it was painful for me to do this because I've missed that one fruit so many times on so many takes of this where I literally stopped, paused my game, and restarted. And But that was like only like five takes later because I didn't realize you can actually manually restart the section. It's painful, man. It's painful. But we got our power up and our last um item we get from the slide section, and that's pretty much it for it. And I got a new high score. There's also another mini game we can do in this game where it in um Lost Jungle, which is the um vine section, but you don't really get anything from that. You just get like some markings in the journal and stuff. If you want to do that journal completionist thing, you can go ahead, but I don't think that's anything that's needed for like um advancement or like or like um what is it? it it's not it's not worth it i don't think i don't think the journal completion completion is like worth it in the game i will try completing the journal in kingdom hearts 2 but that's going to be mostly like off camera stuff we got our infrared belt from the white training mark and there is a chest that i couldn't get access to over here which gives you more dalmatians In this section. Earlier in the um series when I got the glide, I went I think I went back and um glided over a section I needed that push block for, or one of those push blocks. Because there's another one that comes up here. You can push down. I mean or hit down, I think. And it basically does that, it makes a pathway for you. So you can go over here and then go to the secret here's another chest that I missed get some elixir and yeah I don't know how but I missed this red training spot in my playthrough I think I noted it out in, my, in the editing how I missed it but I was like already like I think that I think the time I recorded this video was the time I realized that I missed that training spot, so yeah, that door over there, you need 
to hit that gem up there to unlock that section, because you, um, you saw how, like, the color was different from the wall. That's because it is a secret door that I have not gained access to. And I missed a call from my mom. But yeah, we, had, we now have access to this hidden room, and we can touch that to open that door. I knew that door had something, and it had the Haste 2G, and I think it had more Dalmatians. Yep. I think the one thing I had to search up for this game was the last chest that contained the Dalmatians. I missed one chest in this game that caused me to go all the way back to Hollow Bastion and get that um, Dalmatian. But um, yeah. We now have to go inside the belly of the beast. And I did not enjoy that trip. <laughs> Monstro's belly, not really a, my, one of my favorite worlds. There were tons of chests that I missed though, thanks to me not having the glide ability. So look at that. How the heck would I know that if I didn't glide? And, yep, the Heartless really gets in your way here. And I'm gonna say this right now. There was such an improvement with the battle system in this game and Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm still currently, like, um, playing... I'm still currently... I'm still currently in the middle of my, um, Reach of Memories playthrough. And, Jesus Christ, man. It was painful. You're gonna see me complain a lot in... Um, Reach Hand of Memories, but that's coming up pretty soon actually because I think once the 40th episode comes up, that's going to be the end of this series. And hey, I got that chest before the enemies came. And I got another torn page, which is the last torn page for um, the storybook, so we're going to be messing with that next episode too. But yeah, it was just like more chest and like came up here, synthesized more things, and um, yeah, the reason why I'm showing those synthesis um, room so I can keep a marking of all the um, materials that I need for the game, because once you synthesize every item in there, you get the um, ability to synthesize three more items, which are three ultimate weapons for your team. We got the Orcalcum. And then there was this one white trinity spot in um what was it? Atlantica. But I decided to finish um this first. Because we got a postcard in there. We had a postcard earlier in um Jimmy's house not Jimmy, um what was it? Geppetto's house. We sent the eighth postcard here, and then the ninth postcard, and the last postcard. I had to search up how to get that because that was annoying. But um, yeah, that's it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy, make sure you have a like, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, I'll see you. Oh yeah, don't forget to visit in on uh, my Twitter and my um Twitch because that's a new thing that I'm adding to the description down below, so you guys should check that out, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, my gamers. Voice crack.